I looked into the area of city aquatic transportation. Um, I guess the main idea was to help relieve or aid traffic congestion in the inner city. Um, did a lot of research with um, Dublin Transport um, with regards rivers and would it actually aid in traffic congestion and the answer was yes. Two of the most congested roads in Dublin run parallel to waterways in Dublin. Um, but the idea was that this wouldn't just be a, a transportation system for commuters, it would be a more, have more dimension to it. So the idea is that you could have meetings in this transportation system. Um, you could meet up with someone, have lunch with them while you're commuting to your destination. So there's two ways, you can drive the ship or you can set it on auto drive and the interior allows you to, to, to have meetings in it. You have four seats, a table that pulls out from the centre. Um, so I think, yeah. Choosing research I have looked into um, I've looked into people working from home in the status or from the census uh, telling me that there's more and more people continuing to work at home to save more money and both ways for the office and for the employee as well. So I decided to look into technology as well as what, what you need in the office for working from home, like what would you need to do to communicate in the office if you're working out of, a, out of home instead of an office. So then I started looking into that, but then I realised that if you're living from at home and trying to save money, a lot of up and coming uh, new graduated uh, students would be working from smaller apartments, from moving out of their house. So they would technically want to be looking for more of a space saving technology emphasis in their home office. So I was looking into can these chairs or tables even work together as one or work together as one and also multifunction. So I was trying to see if you can store it away when you don't use it or you can use it for another function when you're not using it in the office. For my project, I'm looking at computer mice. Uh, the current mouse design is pretty archaic in the fact that it hasn't changed since its inception. Um, my mouse hopefully will tackle the problems that we use today. My mouse will hopefully tackle many problems and uh, injuries that happen when you're using mice. Um, it's designed to be a touch, touch device as well as a physical piece of hardware that you can use to navigate a computer. Um, there's that gap that it hopes to bridge, it hopes to bridge a gap between um, physical hardware such as an old typical mouse and new touchscreen devices. I've chosen a vertical design, you could probably say that a vertical design for a mouse. Um, the idea behind this is that when you're using a mouse, a traditional mouse, your hand is resting horizontal, uh, i.e. it's not in its natural position. Um, so my mouse takes this into account that the most natural position for your hand is not horizontal. It's at, a, a, at an angle between the vertical and the horizontal. Again to bikes. Um, I don't know. I suppose as a kid, I always wish I could just cycle to school, but I always lived too close. That was a bit of a nuisance. So I always had to walk. It was pretty bitch. So I always liked cycling. Picked up my. I inherited my brother's old white MBX. M M MBX is that a bike? BMX. Uh, years ago, and unfortunately, that got thrown in the trash because I, I never used it for years. But in about third and fourth year. Uh, after one of my best mates, uh, he got into biking, he was just venturing up the hills on his crappy little full bike. And 
he eventually got ready to get a GT Avalanche, which I was quite jealous of, and I tried venturing up with him a few times as hiking. But, I, so I decided upon doing this, I've always commuted all my life, especially going to college, which is four years now. Um, like commuting every day and just kind of realizing all the problems and stuff that's really pain in the ass for commuting. So I, like in my final project, I really wanted to uh, tackle this issue, and that's what led on to my uh, commuter bike design. I've always had a great, like great love of Nikolai bikes as well, which is the company I'm doing it in partnership partnership with. So that's they've been great help, and it's been brilliant. Even going to see the factory and going getting a tour of everything and seeing their bikes in person and trying to tweak my design to fit their brief while keeping the design principles I want to hit in place. So I feel it, 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 it should tackle all the issues uh, that really piss me off in uh, commuting nowadays. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, no, I've always been fascinated by, by boats and, and how how they work, how sails and keels work together to you know push a boat forward. Um, it's fascination. It's sort of it's it's come from two things really, just a an interest in in, in physics from a young age, uh, but also uh, being exposed to sailing and competitive racing uh, from 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 a very young age as well. Um, like when I was young, my mum uh, used to show me basically explain to me how, how a boat works by getting a peanut and putting it between your fingers and squeezing it from both sides. And that's basically, you know, like the thumb is like the force of the sail or the force of the wind on the sail. And then her index finger was the, uh, the resistance uh, um, of like the acting like the dagger boys. So like the two squeezing together would push the peanut out. Um, and I'm designing an adjustable keel, much like an airplane wing, uh, to improve efficiency while sailing upwind for competitive racing. So my intention with the travel queue was to redesign the queuing area, thus making the um, queuing as more comfortable and as more relaxing as possible and as simple as possible. So each person has his own personal space. For my research I found that the boarding area was considered as being the most stressful to queue. So usually by the time people go to the boarding area, uh, they, were, they felt very tired and exhausted. So it was kind of, it was very, very hard for them to be queuing in that line. Mm -hmm. And when people queue, start queuing in advance, they find it very hard to st stand still on the um, queue, in the queue, when the queue is not moving. So in my design, I've got the idea of having the leaning seats or sitting seats attached to the actual floor that's moving. And when, you can, when you're leaning on the seat or sitting, you can be doing other things, so the perceived, perceived waiting time could be shortened. Uh, I'm focusing on uh, video DSLRs for my major project and um, essentially I'm focusing on designing a rig which uh, in incorporates a Steadicam but uh, can also be adapted to be used as a shoulder mount um, for shooting video um, and then it's something that can be really quickly mounted on a tripod so maybe the user wants to shoot video and then move to stills very quickly. So I'm trying to, 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 to blend the two arts together and, and, and not confine anyone to having to change parts and rigs on their camera just to go from one bit to the other. And then the, another part that I'm focusing on is the, 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 the talon, the Kestrel talon, and basically this is kind of supposed to be the photographer's Swiss army knife. Um, it's basically uh, a mount that you can, you can screw onto the bottom of your camera and um, you can leave it on there. And then whenever you need to, you can take it off, turn it around and mount it on the bottom like so. And uh, you have a, a very quick um, handle for uh, shooting video um, and uh, it's, it's, it's kind of for the, the new everyday user so uh, someone who's just out with their friends they have their camera with them they don't know if they're going to be shooting video or um, they, they don't know what to expect so they have it with them and because the DSLR isn't was never designed for shooting video um, it, it's not it's not steady to hold like this it's not it, it just doesn't work that well so the idea of having a, a video grip with you all the time and that you can take off and use when you need to uh, is kind of one huge area of my project.
So um, yeah, I've chosen to focus on air travel for my major project. Um, I have experience as interior and office furniture designer. And um, I suppose for me, the space really interests me, physical and psychological space. And, and so I decided to design um, seating for budget airlines. Um, basically, I think the layout and interior of cabins hasn't changed since commercial flying started. The issue I've chosen to focus on most um, is the luggage system for budget airlines. Another um, problem is uh, boarding times for budget airlines. I mean, tr quick turnaround times are critical. Um, even like a, if they could shave five minutes off boarding, um, it would be huge. I mean, you know, they could add an extra flight from Dublin to London a day. Um, and so my idea is really to, to provide a system for um, budget airlines to increase revenue for them while keeping fares low. I'm pretty excited about my design. I tried a lot of different configurations. Initially, I thought um, with the removal of the overhead bins that I would lose storage capacity on airplanes, but then I decided to raise the seats up and I've actually found that capacity has increased.